gap then uh, that's what we want this fantastic result okay uh, let's see so we have the MGF just write this down again is uh, 1 over B minus A times B e to the T B A to the e to the T A okay and this was the case when T hold on a minute with a T there sorry that's a T there okay that was that and this was the case that T is not equal to zero right now what can say so here that is like the numerator there is like my f of t and the bottom bit is like my g of t so the derivative of the top respect to t is you can see it straight away is that it's uh, going to be hold on a minute uh, no, that's not right because the MGF doesn't have this. It doesn't have this. Well, let's just check it again. E T B E T A. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. So let's continue. Otherwise, I'd have been in a tight spot. Right. So what this says is differentiate the top with respect to T. Well, that's going to be B to the E T B minus A to the E T A, and the bottom bit derivative two of that thing respect to t is going to be b minus a therefore uh, let's do it on another line therefore using L'Hopital's rule uh, by L'Hopital the limit as 10 t tends to 0 of m t is equal to the limit t tends to 0 of this thing here, the first derivative of the top over that thing. And where does this, and this 10 tends to 0, that's going to tend to e to the 0, which is 1, so the top bit's going to be b uh, minus, and then the same thing, so it's b over a, bottom bit's b over a, answer, 1. That's by L'Hopital. And you're going to see how useful this L'Hopital is when we come to compute moments, which, uh, heck yes, why not do it? I've got all day. All right. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Just using the MGF we've got now. Oh, by the way. I should conclude my answer by stating formally what the MGF is of the u uniform, but I did that right on the front page, but I'll do it again anyway, so we'll do it in brackets. So, hence I've shown that MGF is this thing here. So, just so long as you know where all that time has gone for t not equal to 0 and 1, t equals to 1. All right. Next, we want now to compute using the MGF expected value of x and the variance of x. We know that the expected value of x, let's keep saying like a robot, is the first moment is the first derivative of the MGF evaluated at t is 0. So we want the first derivative of the MGF. Okay. scribble this out because let's scribble all this out now you know that's what we're after this is better than the whiteboard because you don't get ink on your hands or chalk on your hands all right okay I just want to write because I don't hate looking at fractions like this just rewrite it equivalently without fractions Uh, this is the same as saying t to the minus 1 instead of having t there. Um, this bottom I could leave as a fraction, I guess, because it doesn't depend on t. Alright, so there. Now, now I will say, now I'm ready to compute the first moment. 
So first moment is, right, what do we have here is product rule, because we've got here it's a function of t times something else which depends on t. That's a constant, so it can come out, and that's why I said it didn't matter. Now I've got my brackets, and then basically it's this guy, product rule. So basically, well, let's see which way around. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. So let's say we are write one and differentiate the other, plus different, um, write the other and differentiate the first one. Okay, so let's write this one first, t to the minus 1. Do the hard work first and differentiate this guy here. Differentiate this guy. B e to the t b minus a e to the t a. Plus, now I write this ugly guy e to the t b minus e to the t a. And I differentiate this guy. So we have minus t minus 2, like that. Okay. The other way, so what I've done is I've used um, yeah the product rule. If you left t on the bottom, you could also have done this by quotient rule. But I always try to vo avoid quotient rule. This is the thing about. I don't know if you heard this. Some students have thought about you know, if I apply the product rule in differentiation, can I apply the quotient rule? The answer is yes. Um, so then the next question is, well, is one of them better than the other? Well, product rule, in many instances, is easier to do than the quotient, just because you're avoiding fractions. That's what I've done here. Uh, fraction, yeah, okay. Anyway, product rule is easier to apply than the quotient rule. It just looks less uh, messy. All right, now, so, so M ready for M0. Why am I pausing here? M0, I just want to plug 0 in. Now I'm going to have a problem with, um, oh yes, because look, t to the minus 1. So if I calculate 0, it's going to be 0 over 0. That's indeterminate form. 0 over 0 again. Ha! Huh. So that's why I put that. So that's no good. So what do I do now? Let's call this expression. Let's break it down now. now this is where I need to number what I've got here. Let's call this equation 1. Let's call this quantity, let's just call it A, doesn't matter what we call it. Um, let's call this whole thing B. Right, this is what we call showing you working. Because we've got two indeterminate forms, we're going to have to kind of uh, see where they go to in the limit as t goes to zero. I showed you there's two methods, but we're going to use L'Hopital because it is way quicker. Okay, so if we look at A first, using L'Hopital, the limit as t tends to 0. And you'll like this because you'll see it's so quick of b e to the t b minus a to the e to the t a over, over not a y, over, over t is equal to the limit of t tends to 0 of b squared e to the tb minus a squared e to the ta and we can find that straight away that's got an answer b squared minus a squared All right um, a b let's go let's see All right and b and this guy here we do the same thing if uh, you're happy with this you pause the video and have a go at this bit and then resume Okay, let's have a look. We have here then, just write it down, e to the tb minus e to the ta. I'll take my time in case I make any mistakes. t squared equals to the limit as t tends to 0 of, now let's do it, a, okay, what we've got then is e to the is b to the e to the t b as before minus a e to the t a over 2t and you can see that I've not escaped yet because if I substitute in the limit top bit still going to be 0 bottom bit still got to be 0 so here's a case where I have to apply it more than once this is 0 let's have a look it's going to be squared now e to the t b minus a squared e to the t a over 2 and now we can see where it's going to go to 
top bit now is going to go to what is t tends to zero. The first term is going to tend to b squared minus the second term is a squared two. And let's number these things. Let's call this thing here two, so people know what we're doing. Let's call this thing three. All right. And then what we tell the person what we're doing is that we substitute two and three into one. Okay, this is my lazy way of saying that, but anyway, you can say in words whatever you like. Uh, substitute these two guys up into here. Now, then, I will get okay, A. That goes straight into here. B squared minus A squared. This guy goes straight into that position. Now that's a minus sign. I didn't as I so that's a minus, right? Minus B squared over A squared over two. Which you can see is just gonna be half. This is like one whole thing, this is half of this thing, so you're just gonna live with half of it. In other words, one over B over A b squared minus a squared over 2. Okay, and then we observe that this is b minus a times b plus a. You can see it's like a quadratic with the middle term missing out, and that and this kind of gets you there over 2. And then this guy is going to cancel this guy, and then we're left with the well known result a plus b or b plus b a or up to you. There, finished. Um, here I should put zero, obviously. Yes, because it's the whole thing evaluated at zero. And this is, we could have written here, is what the first moment by definition. This is. This is the first non-centered moment. Right. Now, if you think I'm going to do the second moment, um, you can think again, because uh, I'm going to leave that to you. But you know what the result is. It's b squared minus a squared over 12, isn't it? Anyway, uh, have a go at that and uh, get practicing with L'Hopital, your new friend. Okay, take care.